When you think of a selfish anime main character, who do you think of? Because for me, it's going freaks. For me, no one is ever going to be more selfish than him. On my first ever watch of Hunter x Hunter, I can actually remember having to pause the episode and just say to myself, this guy did not just do that. Now to be fair, I absolutely loved Hunter x Hunter, it's way up there in my top 3 and when you break it down it actually gets pretty funny, especially from other characters perspectives throughout the show, so let's get into it. Now for sure, Gon is definitely one of the most determined main characters I've ever seen. He becomes so fixated on his goals that he's literally willing to put not only himself but absolutely everyone around him into imminent danger. We saw this in the Chimera Antark when Gon becomes so enraged at Kite losing an arm, he decides to go full on Super Saiyan, putting his life and Killua's life in danger against a foe they had zero chance of beating. Just picture this for me, okay? Put yourself in Kite's shoes. So you're leading these two kids on a dangerous expedition to scout out the supposed Chimera Ants. Now you know these ant guys are strong, but at the same time you feel confident that you three can properly defend yourselves. Suddenly you feel the most terrifying presence you've ever felt. The aura is so horrifying that it compels you to instinctively cover and tell Gon and Killua to scram as quickly as possible. And then out of nowhere this thing that you have been sensing materializes out of thin air and then proceeds to effortlessly wrench off your arm as though it was a piece of candy being plucked from the hand of an unsuspecting child. And to put this into a little perspective here, it would be like if the Powerpuff Girls went up against Cosmic Superman himself. He definitely would not end well. And at this point you're thinking to yourself, you know you're going to die, but maybe you can at least save Gon and Killua. So you're thinking about every single possibility and every single scenario where you could possibly save them. And as you glance over, you spot Gon charging up like a Super Saiyan as if he's about to fight. You can't help but think, is this kid out of his mind? Didn't he just witness me lose my arm moments ago? Then out of nowhere, Kilowa proceeds to knock him out without a moment's hesitation and bolts away, leaving you with a quick sigh of relief. Perhaps now you can finally start focusing on your own survival, but at that point it's too late. But here's the thing, we can't just label Gon as selfish without understanding the context. Not only is Hunter x Hunter not your typical shonen, but Gon is also like 12 years old. The guy hasn't even finished puberty yet and he's already going toe to toe with Hunter x Hunter's strongest fighters. Now let's talk a bit about Gon's selfishness. He's incredibly determined and often focuses on his own goals without thinking about how his actions might impact his friends. This crazy determination can lead him to often disregard the safety of his friends. Whether it's his recklessness in dangerous situations or maybe the fact that he's just nuts, Gon's moments of selfishness show how complex his character really is. We see another example of this during the Greed Island arc when Gon and his friends find themselves in a bit of a bad situation. They have just secured the plot of Beach Card, one of the last cards they need to beat the game. However, their brief moment of relief takes a sharp turn when they encounter Genthru. Now, in the Greed Island arc, Genthru is the main antagonist and the person they have to beat in order to beat the game and Gentoo basically delivers an ultimatum. He says he wants the card and that he can either take it with or without force. Now everyone knows Gentoo is quite strong and should not be taken lightly so they don't really know how to reply to him. But imagine you're Tez Gera, right? You're well aware of Gentoo's strengths and the very real threat he poses to Gon and Killua. You've witnessed how strong these two fighters are and you find yourself rooting for them, you know, like you want Gon and Killua to win and they might just pull it off with the right strategy when all of a sudden this lunatic picks up the phone and says The card now! Get over here right now! I want to fight you! I also have Gon! You're shocked. Not only is this absolute lunatic almost ruined the entire plan, but he's also literally putting everyone's life in danger by literally telling Genthru to come to their exact location to throw hands. Fortunately, it gets a bit better when two of his companions intervene, preventing any further chaos, but at that point the damage has already been done. It takes a certain level of audacity to invite the main villain to your exact location for a showdown while your innocent friends are present. I mean, come on man, if you're itching for a fight, maybe at least do it in your own time rather than putting your friends in harm's way. What's even worse is that the person who would normally be fighting beside Gon is practically paralysed from the elbow down. And why? Well because of Gon, he literally made the man be his stand-in target subjecting him to a barrage of light speed volleyballs, fully aware that it was destroying the guy's hands in the process. 
It's become clear to me that Gon can accurately be described as a punch-happy lunatic. His enthusiasm for a good brawl often places him in situations that will harm those around him, but yet he genuinely cares for those around him, especially his close friends. And if anyone was to threaten or hurt his friends, you can bet your bottom dollar that Gon would 100% get revenge, no matter the cost. In simple terms, Gon may seem a bit crazy and reckless on the surface, but deep down he genuinely cares for his friends. And yeah, that's about it for this video on Gon Freaks. This is something I've wanted to do for a very long time now, so if you made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.